Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again for another stock pick of the day video. Today we are going to cover Sabaney Stillwater. Let's jump right into the video so we don't waste any of your time. As you can see here from their homepage, if you want to learn more about them, check them out at www.sabaneystillwater.com. Sabaney Stillwater is a multinational mining and metals processing group with a diverse portfolio of mining and processing operations and projects and investments across five continents. The group is also one of the foremost global PGM auto catalytic recyclers and has interest in leading mine tailings treatments or retreatment operations. Sabaney Stillwater has established itself as one of the world's largest primary producers of platinum, palladium, and rhodium and is also a top tier gold producer. It produces other PGMs such as iridium and ruthenium, I think that's how that's pronounced, along with chrome, copper, and nickel as byproducts. The group has recently begun to build and diversify its asset portfolio into battery metals, mining and processing, and is increasing its presence in the circular economy by growing and diversifying its recycling and tailings processing operations globally. And this is really what, what I've focused on here, the battery metals mining their operation uh, into supplying metals and materials for the batteries, the EV sector that's coming up. Big boom coming in that from Tesla's to GM, Ford, every Nissan, you name it, every major uh, manufacturer, car manufacturer is going to the EV route. And not only car manufacturers, but also uh, I know I'm transitioning a lot of my uh, tools over to electric. You know, I'm looking at, I'm in the garage now, I'm looking at a lot of DeWalt tools that are electrified now. Uh, so the batteries for those as well. So as we continue to get away from fossil fuels, get away from the gas and oil industry and more into to electrification of not our daily lives, I believe companies like this that are providing the materials that are needed to create these batteries are going to be in high demand. Sabaney Stillwater is one of those companies. Uh, they are a mining company out of the materials sector. I know a lot of people are not in that sector. I am in several different companies. This one, Vail, a couple others as well. <coughs> KGC, Ken Ross Gold Corporation. I think you see me buying a little bit of theirs over time as well. As you can see at the close of business on June 7th, Spaney Stillwater ticker SBSW was down 1.97%. Actually, one of the very few uh positions in my portfolio that was down today a lot of green today not much red this was one area I did see still had a pullback they also have uh, some negative press right now there is a strike going on in their one of their mines in Africa so that I think is also contributing to part of this pullback but as you can see definitely a pullback over the day looks like it was as high as about 1258 at one point closed the business at 1245 52-week range as low as $10.51, as high as $20.64. So definitely closer to that 52-week low than it is to the 52-week high. Has a market cap of $8.922 billion, so it is on the smaller side, small cap. A beta of 1.46, so it is more volatile than the overall market. Mining companies tend to be volatile as, a, as economic conditions shift and as needs shift they do tend to be volatile overall. Does have a PE ratio of 4.29, so extremely low. A forward dividend of $1.30 per share. That's part of the reason I like it. It is paid out uh, semi-annually, annually. I think it pays out a couple times a year, at least once a year, at least annually. But they do also kick out uh, additional special dividends on occasion. And it has a dividend yield of 10.28%. Another thing that I like, very high yielding company, $12 to be kicking out $1.30 per share a year is very nice. X dividend date, the last one was March 24, 2022. So you wouldn't get the next dividend if you bought them now. A one year estimated target price of $18.15 per share. That's what Yahoo Finance has it. I am not affiliated with Yahoo Finance, just where I like to pull some information from. Let's take a look at what some other analysts have to say. Now, this is actually a little confusing. I took a look at this uh, before I posted it, and it doesn't make much sense to me. Maybe you guys can make some sense of it. But according to stockanalysis.com, where I pulled this from, according to the 17 stock analysts, they had to take a look at this. They call it a buy, which is strange because if you look at their projections, they have a low of 16 cents, which would be a 98%, 98.71% decline in stock price. Basically, think the business is going, or they're going out of business pretty much. 
uh, again, 12.44 currently, they would have to drop a significant amount. Even their average has them at 19 cents, which would be a 98.47% decline. And even their high only has them at 30 cents, which would be a 97.59%. But they call it a buy, almost a strong buy, actually. They're on the edge of a buy and, and a strong buy. So it doesn't make much sense. I don't know if this is just a hiccup. Someone entered some data in wrong. But this is not making much sense to me why they would call it a buy, but then have such low expectations over the next year. I'm definitely not looking to buy anything where I'm going to lose 98% of value uh, for $12 and drop it to 16 cents. Uh, in full disclosure, I bought uh, nine more shares of this today on this pullback. I believe anything under $13 for Sabania Stillwater is a buy, and I will continue to buy uh, as I increase my position. I'm trying to get over 100 shares. Once I get over 100 shares, then I'll probably back off a little bit and see where it levels out at. But I'm in this, again, uh, for the EV play more than anything as they provide some of the raw materials for those batteries, as well as the precious metals. I mean, palladium, platinum, those things are in uh, demand as well. Gold, obviously. So uh, a mining company in the material sector, I know a lot of people aren't interested in that, but this is one in my portfolio, it might be one to look at, may even continue to pull back, guys. This is, like I said, has some uh, current issues going on right now as far as the strike and that other, uh, other issues over there, so might be one to watch. With that said, as always, I appreciate you stopping by, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up, ring the notification bell. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, guys. The, the channel only grows with your help, support, and so continue to do that. I appreciate it. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Sabini Stillwater. I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, suggestions for future videos, or constructive criticism. If you have things you don't like, let me know those as well. This is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for stopping by and have a great week. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can't lose money and should never invest any amount you're not comfortable losing. Always do your own research and invest based on your situation, circumstances, and select criteria or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor.